we're undergoing a tremendous passage and you may have noticed and seen it yourself or experienced it a passage from one way of living to another hopefully we come all the way through and are able then to live in a much more conscious and wiser way on our beautiful earth and with each other but this passage is marked by great intensity and it also will push you through your own internal passage of that can feel like death and birth and it begins often with pressure with things falling apart chaos and of course fear arises and you can see this in our world right now the pandemic panic fear how it's taking over also you can see it how the economic structures are falling apart and you probably experience it in one way or another inside of yourself so here are a few helpful hinters how we can walk through it in a way that is more gracious it gives you a sense of courage and strength and the capacity to show up from love and presence and to know this passage is as it might be terrifying it is also tremendously beautiful it's terrifying when we suddenly find we have no more control and then when there is a sense of surrender to trust in the intelligence of life there is ease there is grace it reminds me when I gave birth to my daughter and the doctor said oh she will be coming in two weeks actually I didn't know whether it was a girl or boy <laughs> I didn't want to know and yet you know five hours later I went into labor and the first moment was oh, something wrong shock my, sh my breath got shallow as I encountered the extreme painful contractions I thought I was prepared but not for that that's often the sense we get when life starts taking over and doing its thing so always you can root in what feels safe you have no control over life and you are really, we don't have control over what's happening if we try to control our environment and life itself we're just gonna get into very small fearful knots but we do have control and power over how we respond and so when things are more overwhelming and intense the first thing is the, that contracts is the breath and we go we tend to go into our head as western people um, so you might you just go the opposite way or feel your breath breathe out a long breath out and feel your feet on the ground or feel the chair that holds you in times of turmoil when everything goes tipsy-turvy we need to feel what holds us in a very concrete way you can think lo love holds you which is true but your nervous system won't respond to a concept it needs something concrete so sitting on the earth like I'm here right now in this beautiful place really helps to feel held and then that 
trust in life that it will take you through on the way. It cannot be forced. You gotta go second by second almost. Which means to just in this moment, you can whisper to yourself, I let life take me. I surrender to love in this moment. And then feel how the breath is taking you, how it's breathing you. Feel how all the all life is moving through you. Sense the aliveness. Go second by second, otherwise it gets too overwhelming when we have intensity happening. Even when you are feeling certain things, we get so, fri so frightened of our emotions because we feel like we're not in control. And when you lean in a little bit more, we saying, and this, for this second, I allow this, I feel this. And then note, well, I didn't die from this. Okay, and then you just, you just, just keep doing that. Keep leaning into the direct experience, into the aliveness, and whisper that prayer. I let love take me all the way through. Get curious how God, the Goddess, life, that your soul is right now taking you through as you lean in one step at a time and listen and feel your way into that what knows how to give birth, into that what knows how to lead you through even the most intense times. And so, step by step, we nudge our way into a deeper trust and communion with love itself. Step by step, we nudge our way into not just awakening but embodying a loving presence that this world is aching for. And know that as you go through a deeper passage, all that you thought you are will be stripped from you. All that you thought the world is, is stripped. Get curious what is really true, what's real discover because that will open all the doors when you let curiosity take the lead when you let life take the lead ask yourself with curiosity what is left when all else fails what is left when all else is taken? Discover what is left. And that is, I can promise you, a sense of liberation, not from anything, but to be liberated in the midst of chaos, in the midst of the darkest night, in the midst of this great passage where we don't know what will happen and what comes next, to experience a freedom that you can root in that peace, in that love, no matter what happens, in that unshaken presence. And be your light for those who are lost in the storms. Be a hand to those who need a hand and root 
so deeply in what never can be taken, what never fails, that which beats in your heart right now. And this is the great passage. Maybe you are in one stage or another. Just reach out for some support. Communicate with others. And trust step by step into that what brought you here what lives and breathes you right now.